I have a dual SIM Samsung Galaxy S24 and I'll be showing you how to manage the dual SIM cards. Now I'm using the S24 Ultra but this works on any dual SIM Galaxy S24. So go to settings, on the main settings page go to connections, tap on that and then under connections go to SIM manager and tap on that. Now different people have different dual SIM setups. You might have a dual physical SIM Galaxy S24 like this one, or you might have one SIM and an eSIM that's also dual SIM. So depending on what you've set up, for me, I've decided not to go with the second physical SIM card. I've gone for one physical SIM card and an eSIM, okay? So, which is also a dual SIM setup. So, from here, you can switch off any SIM card at will, like that, or turn it on at will, okay? So you can do that for any of the SIM cards. So let's say if you have a work SIM card and a home SIM card, as soon as you get home, you can turn off the work SIM card, or as soon as you get to work, you can maybe turn off the home SIM card, maybe? I don't know. So depending on what you want, really, you can turn the SIM cards on or off independently. And then the other thing is you can add another eSIM and you can have as many eSIM profiles as you want, but only two SIM cards can be active at the same time. And then we have this section for preferred SIMs. Here you can choose which SIM card you want to make calls by default. Now currently mine is set to eSIM1. So when I want to make a call, it's going to make through eSIM1. I can change that to the physical SIM one, okay? Now, if you have, if you had two uh, physical SIM cards, they might be called SIM one and SIM two. But since one is a physical and one is eSIM, I have e I have SIM one and eSIM one, okay? So I can choose between the two different SIM cards, or I can set it to ask always. And when you set it to ask always, it means anytime you try to call, it's going to give you a pop up, and you can choose which SIM card you want to call with, okay? But I prefer personally to leave mine on a specific SIM card. And then next is messages. Now also choose which SIM card you want to be sending messages. And then you have the option for mobile data. Choose which SIM card you want to be using for mobile data. So if you have mobile data on eSIM1, you can choose eSIM1 or the other SIM card. Or you can even turn mobile data off from here. Now, let's say you want to be using eSIM1 for mobile data, but sometimes you go into places where one SIM card does not have mobile data and the other one has. What you can do to manage that is to enable data switching, okay? So once you enable that, it means your phone will use your default SIM card of choice for mobile data, but in case it runs into problems or in, you go into places without connectivity, then it automatically switches to the other SIM card for mobile data. Okay, so that you're never disconnected. So that's what this data switching does. And then you can go into more SIM settings. You have a dual SIM always on. That's what you want to leave it at. Okay, and you can see your numbers there for the SIM cards. And then you have SIM card security. This is where you change the uh, SIM pin. You can enable disable SIM pin for one SIM card and for the other SIM card right there. Okay, so that's where you do that at. And then going back, we have the lock eSIM settings. This is basically a lock mechanism where you can use your screen lock to protect your eSIM settings. So for instance, somebody will not be able, with this checked like that, it means someone will not be able to remove or delete your eSIM without your fingerprint, without your authentication or password, okay? Same goes for all other eSIMs. And also, you can choose to enable this for add eSIM as well. And that means no one is able to add an eSIM to this phone without my password or fingerprint. Okay? And then you have the option to remove all eSIMs. This, this will basically delete all, all the eSIM profiles stored on your phone. And that is basically it. That's how to manage the dual SIM Samsung Galaxy S24. Now, I did use the S24 Ultra here. But this works on all the S24s that are dual SIM, like I mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching. 
comments and questions down below and good luck.